So I am a black Latina. I was born in Panama. My native language is Spanish. However, I am more fluent in English and I've lost my Spanish, <laughs> which was something my mom wasn't truly proud of. She, until the day she died, spoke to me in Spanish. I decided one day I will relearn my language. Maybe I'll use Rosetta Stone. No, I'm sorry, the title of my speech is I Am. <laughs> I am a cuss baby. So I was born 420, April 20th. I'm an Aries slash Taurus. I can tell when I am in my Aries mode because I go straight into things, I jump into it, I don't stop, I don't think about it, I just do it. And then later I'm like, oh crap, what did I just do? And then I can tell when I'm in my Taurus mode. The Taurus in me says, slow down, what are you doing? You gotta stop, think this through, pull the rein, become a turtle, and really what happens when I'm in that mode, a lot of people would say that I'm being indecisive when I'm really being cautious. I am one of 36 children. My father, my papa was a rolling stone. <laughs> he was a, truly a hot-blooded man from the islands from Panama, but he was a very sweet, loving type of man. I really, truly, I met him in 91 when I was in my early 30s. And so I just really blessed to have been able to do that. I am a mother. I have one son, he's 36. Kevin is his name and he is the love of my life. He's very respect respectable. And I always tell people that my son taught me how to be a mother. I didn't play that role of, I'm the mother and you better do what I say. I allowed him to teach me how to be as a mother. And he also started his own business because he said that he was impressed and motivated by me starting my own business. I am recently separated, 10 months now, from a 35 years of being married. Some would say, wow, that's a long time to give up 35 years of marriage. You know, we should stick it out, but I say I can't live my life for other people. I have to live it for myself. And so I chose to walk away from 35 years of a marriage that was just there. We were just roommates, pretty much. I am rediscovering myself with myself, by myself, to myself, as myself. <laughs> that's, that's what I am. I am a survivor of child sexual and physical abuse. And it's truly silenced me throughout the years of my life. I am a co-author of a book that's titled Generational Survivors. The book comes out May 2019. And in that book, it's part of my story of my abuse and the healing that has taken place in my life. I am the owner of Soulful Journey. I am a licensed massage therapist. I specialize in neck, shoulder, and back. I do more than just massage. I am also a massage counselor, <laughs> therapist. I listen to my clients and they're able to tell me what's going on within them. They are really truly able to open up and reveal to me whatever it is that they're feeling and thinking. And so I find myself counseling my clients. So I am a massage slash therapist. I am also the organizer of I Am Enough retreats. I Am Enough retreats are events and workshops that I put together for women that are survivors of sexual, physical, and mental abuse. Hoping and helping them to heal and transform and to continue their journey of healing mind, body, and spirit. I am a voice. <laughs> I have a voice 
which has landed me here to help me, to assist me, to use my voice, to speak my truth, and to allow others to do the same. I am Gloria. I am divine spirit. I hold the light for others who can't hold the light for themselves until they are able to. Thank you.